Hi guys, it's Jordan and Mary here. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to travel around Gilly Tea on a budget. So, the transport to the ferry and back was included in our ticket. After bartering with the guys, it only cost us £31.7p. Which is 3893 in US dollars. The transport to the ferry and back was included in our ferry tickets. After bartering with the guys, we ended up paying £31.7p per person. Which is 3893 in US dollars. Definitely go in with a lower price to what they ask because they did start at about 1.1 million per person, which is double the price we paid. The next main expense on your trip will be accommodation. Guinea Tea definitely has places for all budgets. The first hotel we stayed in was £11.64 per night, and that's $14.59 US dollars. The second hotel we stayed in came with a pool and breakfast, it was £14.12 per night, which is $17.17 US dollars. After accommodation, you need to start thinking about your food cost. The island offers a wide range of food choices uh, that start very cheap and go a little more expensive. For breakfast, we had a bacon and chicken sandwich which cost £3.12. That's £3.91 in US dollars. And scrambled egg on toast which cost £1.98. For dinner, we had hot dog and chips which was £4.23. And for tea, as you'll see, we had fish and chips which was £3.39 and that's for 25 US dollars. There are lots of activities to do on the Gilly Island. We hired bikes for the day and biked around looking for different beaches. The price for these bikes was £2.26 a day. And that's £2.83 in US dollars. We managed to find a lovely beach which was south of the port. On this beach there were some beds, but to use the some beds you did have to buy a drink from the bar. So the price of a small bin tank was £2.26. And that's £2.86 in US dollars. And with that, we got the two sunbeds for the whole day. The next activity we did was the Three Island Topping Tour. We highly recommend this tour because it only cost just over £5 to do, and we saw lots of turtles and fish. We also got to see all the amazing underwater statues. It was an incredible experience for the price we paid, so we definitely recommend this. If you're on the beachfront, then definitely have a look at the prices. I think there was all the same prices wherever you went but it's definitely a trip to do if you're on the Gilly Tea Island. The night off of Gilly Tea is one to remember. We had shisha with two cocktails, which was £8.47, and that's 10.62 US dollars. Four cocktails was £11.33, $14.20, and we spent the night partying and dancing on the beach. So that was our little video on how to travel Gilly Tea on a budget. All in all, we spent about £140. That was accommodation, transport, activities, alcohol and nights out, food costs, that was everything that we did on the Guinea Islands. We 100% recommend the Guinea Teas as the snorkel that there was one we've never experienced before and also the nightlife and the island vibes are definitely worthwhile. We hope this has helped you guys and like we said that's just a rough estimate of what we spent as a couple which was £140 and to be honest it was probably the best £140 we spent. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel as we are currently travelling around Bali at the moment but we're moving on to Singapore and then who knows where next. Maybe you guys can decide. So we'll see you later. Bye, thanks for watching.